Let's have a quick conversation that might save you a little bit of bread for those who are penny pinching. And I respect it because times is tough and not everybody got money to be blowing the bag on luxury items. We got two chains here, both actual gold. One weighs a lot more than the other because one is hollow, but are they visually comparable? Let's roll my motherfucking music and find out if the hollow rope looks like the solid rope. Kind of a big deal. Listen, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. C to the U to the A. Your boy Larry's back. Larry loves the haters. Haters say hi to Larry. Larry say hi to the haters. What's up, my peoples? I miss y'all motherfuckers as usual. You know I like to try to bring y'all fun content and little bit comparisons that might save you a buck or just give you a different perspective that you don't have the accessibility to. Nowadays, the world is starting to open back up and you might not feel comfortable going to the mall to K-Jewelers or whatever the fuck to look at a hollow versus a solid rope and have these salesmen try to pitch you left, right, right, left. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you a perspective of two actual gold items. Neither of these are plated, they're both gold. The difference between them is one is 14K solid and the other one is 10 carat hollow. They are both rope chains. Now rope chains hold their place in history. In hip hop history, you remember the big dookie rope with the big pendant pieces. I mean, your grandpops probably have one, your pops have one, and maybe your kids down the line will have one because I feel that strongly this style would not die anytime soon. It's a timeless piece will never age out. It can catch sunlight from every angle and still shine like a fucking diamond. And it's just a signature piece for some people. But at the end of the day, gold prices are asinine, absolutely incredible. And guess what? I'm gonna be showing you here out of these two ropes, the difference between the solid one and the hollow one. Let's take a closer look. Now what we're looking at here is the classic rope chain design. Got that little spiral staircase look, got the diamond cuts, and as you can see here, for the most part, these two chains have a very, very similar look. Nobody's gonna be running up to you and trying to touch your chain or look at your chain and take the weight of your chain. They won't know what's what. Now, they're not too similar, but they're not extremely different. Now, this one right here just happens to be the 10 karat gold hollow diamond cut rope chain. Now this one, now this one happens to be the 10 karat hollow rope chain. Now I'm gonna try to give you as best as I can up close looks so you guys can just take a look at how a hollow rope chain looks. Here's the detail of the rope chain. It's still a beautiful rope. The diamond cuts are not as pronounced. It's more of a flat appearance, kind of reducing the surface area where the sun can refract its light off of. So you can see there that the areas are not as shiny, they're not as sharp, and they don't have that polish that helps give it that gleam factor. It still does shine very bright, but not as much as the 14 karat gold solid one. As you can see here, the color obviously is a little bit different because it's 10 versus 14, but not by too much. But you can definitely see the more pronounced cuts on top of that rope chain. This is where that light flickers right off of. It makes it look like a fucking strobe light on your neck. These are classic pieces, but truth be told, the differences between both of these are not that drastic. I mean, if you put them side by side and compare them, it's not that off at all. And the price difference between them is significant, not just because it's 10 versus 14, but because of the weight. Let's see what these puppies weigh. Now first, I'm gonna give you a perspective. The details of this one are 14 karat gold. This is a 24 inch, 4.5 millimeter rope. Solid. Now this rope weighs exactly 40 grams of 14 karat gold. And this chain is right under $2,500 for a 4.5 millimeter, 14 karat gold, about 40 grams. Now let's go to the hollow. Now, this is a four millimeter, 10 karat gold rope chain. And this one weighs a mere 7.9 grams. 7.9 grams only. This shit is light as fuck. 
you might hold this in your hand and feel slightly suspicious like, yo, this shit can't be gold, but it's actually 10 karat gold. And the price difference between that piece, which is hovering right under 2,500 versus this one, which is hovering under $500. So you have to ask yourself self, how's your wallet feeling today? Are you feeling under 500-ish or under 2,500? Are you thinking long-term? Are you thinking durability? Are you thinking of just the aesthetic look? Do you just wanna get the look for certain occasions to go out and flex and still feel confident that you're actually wearing gold? Then you can save yourself a grip with the hollow joint. If you're thinking long-term investment or you wanna throw a pendant on it and hand this down generation, 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 then you might want to go for the solid look. Now that doesn't mean that the hollow one has no value or can't be passed down it's still fucking gold just depending on how you treat it if you throw a heavy pendant on this chances are it could stretch out over time it might lose a little bit of a form whatever the case may be but it's still gold it can be handed down it's not gonna tarnish it's not gonna change it's not just gonna snap out of nowhere but it is way more fragile than the actual gold one but it's all about you and your personal preference are you looking for the aesthetic look are you looking for the investment or are you looking for something just for right now just to test the waters and see you want to go for a hollow inexpensive to eventually get yourself a solid it's all up to you here they are neck and neck and let me know what you guys think can you easily spot the hollow versus the solid or what's your thought process behind it i appreciate y'all motherfuckers and i'll see y'all bitches next time you know what is biggest in the game smooches Cubano, 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 Cubano. what's fresh who's best one of them's gonna pass the test. Tell Who I am? For the fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. Oh. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would. <laughs>